Hey, what's up guys? Do you want to win more matches? Do you want to be an annoying prick and troll the enemy team <laughs> when you play by yourself? Well, I'm going to teach you guys how to do it in this match. This is probably, hands down, the most annoying thing that you can do uh, to an enemy team, whether they're playing in a party or not and you're playing solo. Uh, the biggest thing that annoys me, and I know from experience because I've quit out of many lobbies because of it, is people running recon drone and just there's like four or five of them up per match so what are you gonna do you're gonna run recon drone let me give you guys my setup and then I'll start explaining the class that I tailor suited to get more recon drones out the kill streaks you're gonna run are support strike package you're gonna put on UAV because UAV helps the team you're gonna put on counter UAV because of the fact that you're not going to run assassin and also, it completely shuts out the enemy's minimap, which is also highly annoying. You know, look at when you call in a UAV. 75% of the team appears on the minimap. That means that 75% of the team is not running Assassin, and 75% of the team is going to have their radar blocked 100% when that counter goes up. So, right after the counter, you run the recon drum. Now, here's how you're going to get them faster. Number one, you have to alter your playstyle. You have to be up in the enemy's face at all times. What I'm personally doing in this match is I'm using tactical insert. And then I also have quick draw because I'm using quick draw over a hard line for the simple fact that I need to put down tactical inserts faster. Because the purpose of the tactical insert is that you need to be in the enemy's face the entire game. You want to be getting as many of these recon drones out as possible. And the only way to be highly annoying is to, to push the pace be extremely aggressive get the recon drones out before the enemy gets their kill streaks you'd be surprised you know when I ran this this setup I played like 15 games I won 13 matches playing solo out of 15 I lost one kill confirmed and one domination match and that had nothing to do with me that was completely all on my teammates so yeah you're gonna run the tactical insert and as you can see in a lot of these clips it just helps you stay in the action the whole time you're playing you're going you're gonna to be playing fast pace, you're not going to have any slow periods, and you're going to be annoying as hell because you're going to be up in the enemy's face. I mean, nobody wants somebody attacking them the whole game and constantly shooting at them. Uh, the gun choice that I have, I chose the P90 with range proficiency and rapid fire. I'm using range proficiency because it's going to give me the strongest P90 possible, and along with the rapid fire, unsuppressed. The reason why you want unsuppressed is because you want to appear on the minimap. You want to draw attention to yourself, and your gun will kill a lot faster without that suppressor. Now, the reason I'm not using an MP7 or a PP90, things like that, is because the PP90 burns through ammo really fast. Um, I mean, I guess you could go with, say, rapid fire and extended mag. That'll work too, but then you lose out on a lot of those mid-range gunfights because the P90 is not very good from mid-range. It's really a beast up close, but then it suffers. Another thing is, I'm not using the MP7 because MP7 is really weak from the hip. You notice I'm using steady aim. That's the key to this strategy and winning the one-on-one -on -one gunfights. By you running UAVs, counters, and recon drones, you're forcing the enemy team to have to go blind eye assassin. I want them to go blind eye assassin. You know why? Because I got quick draw steady aim on. So when I get, a, get in a one-on-one -on -one engagement, I win almost every single time. Their gun can't raise up fast enough. Even if I'm on 3-bar, they're on 4-bar, they don't stand a chance one-on-one. -on -one. And, you know, you see it all throughout this gameplay. One-on-one, -on -one, I got this. Easy mode. The, the first tier perk that I'm using, I haven't decided which one's better. Slide of hand or recon, one or the other. You notice a lot of times I do get killed in, in uh, some of those clips because of the fact that I didn't have slide of hand. And I, uh, well, the good thing about recon is, you know, you might lose a one-on-one -on -one gunfight, but you do paint the guy if one bullet goes into him. So, him being painted gets him killed, which means no kill streaks for him. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I'm going to show you a quick clip of the recon drone and kind of what I like to do with it. Um, recon drone is just straight up nasty when you know how to use it. If, this is the reason why I say you got to learn spawns, because you can start using stuff like this. I mean, look how many people I tag. Um, I know based off the position of where the enemies were coming from and also the position of the flags, I know they're going to be spawning in the cave. So, you know what I do? I hover right outside the cave and I just wait for them to come out. I'm constantly scanning. Now, one thing you don't want to do with the recon drone is you don't want to be flying all over the map, uh, you know, searching for enemies. You want to try to locate their spawn. The spawn is where you need to just hover around, kind of just stay in one area, looking back and forth with the recon drone. 
and that way you're able to tag and constantly be spamming the tag button don't wait till you see the red dot because people do have blind eye when they have blind eye they don't show up but yeah this is just something different for you guys to try out believe me it is really annoying tryhards will leave the lobby but anyways give it a shot come back leave a comment tell me what you guys think of it and if you did enjoy it drop me that like rating peace guys just another day good job you got to fucking start monkey fish every day. You get a fucking bomber for mine.